Kenny looks stunting pretty. I'm the bitch from New York City. <laughs> I was just trying to think of the gayest way possible to introduce this video. And yeah, I just thought, huh, voguing is probably the gayest thing I could go to top the unicorn t-shirt and the face paint of the pride flag. So yeah, hi guys, in case you didn't know, yes, I'm Luke Hirfield openly gay film vlogger, and yeah, today I'm doing something a little bit different because I'm going to be talking about uh, one of my favourite gay films that uh, came out a long time ago, but yeah, I figured I'd do something special for Pride Month, and uh, I was talking to another YouTuber called Larry who has a channel called LC Screen Talk, you should go check him out, there's a link below in the description, and yeah, he does some amazing content, he makes uh, a lot of film reviews, God, way more than me, I can barely keep up with him. Very talented, very funny. Definitely go check him out. Check out his uh, Twitter, check out his Insta, check out his channel. Yeah, he's fabulous. And yeah, he asked me to collaborate for Pride Month to talk about a movie, uh, a gay movie for Pride Month, you know, and I thought it was a fantastic idea. I thought, yeah, let's let's talk about something that I love. And I was originally planning to do something a little bit more mainstream, like uh, Call Me By Your Name or Moonlight or even Brokeback Mountain. But then I realized that, you know, these films are all, you know, They've been seen by lots of people, you know, they're quite, the, they're the mainstream, you know, um, yeah, contenders of the gay cinema world, you know, which a lot of straight people have seen. I figured I'd give some love to a lesser known gay film. And yeah, I figured today I will give some love to one of my favorite films. It's actually one of the first gay films that I watched uh, ever. And it's called Weekend and it's by a director called Andrew Haig. He went to the same university as me, Newcastle University. And uh, yeah, it's there. And it's also down here. So yes, it's been a main staple of my DVD wall for a while, and yeah, I figured it'd be nice to give it some love. So this film actually holds a special place in my heart, because like I said previously, this was one of the first gay films I actually went to go see in a cinema, and I saw this back in 2011, when I was at university, and I actually reviewed it for my uh, university paper, and yeah, I remember watching this, and it was interesting, it just come out in cinemas, and it's funny, because I had recently just come out myself in 2011 as well, I was out to my family at this point, I was 21, and yeah, I remember seeing this in cinemas, and I just remember the feeling of awe, like, just being completely transfixed by this film, and it's hard to put into words why, it's just such a phenomenal film. It's like lightning in a bottle, really, like, it's hard to put into words as to what makes it so wonderful, but I just remember connecting to the story so much because it's such a simple premise, there's nothing earth-shattering about the, uh, the storyline, Basically, it's about uh, two gentlemen uh, who meet on a Friday night in a gay club. One's called Russell, who's played by Tom Collin, and the other's, then the other's called Glenn, who's played by Chris New. They meet in this club, they hook up, and they go back to Russell's place for a night of sex, and then it cuts to the morning, and yeah, they have this pillow talk, and the seeds of a really amazing romance are just, they blossom in this this one little scene in this bedroom where they're just talking about their personal lives and stuff from the night before. And basically what seems like a one night stand turns into this sort of 48 hour weekend of intimacy. And it's just hypnotic to watch because all it is is just watching two human beings, two strangers who've met just by happenstance and come together and they just found something really meaningful in each other. They just sort of really bounce of each other really well and they click on so many different levels they're completely different people from each other like Tom Collins Russell is he's sentimental and he's introverted and he's I don't know a bit reserved whereas uh, Chris News Glenn is more comfortable in his own skin as a gay man he's artistic he's um, a bit blunt he's forthright and yeah they're very different people but they click everything about it just feels so easy together, like, they don't have to pretend to be anyone else around them, they're just comfortable with who, who they are in front of this person, and they also challenge each other, like, the chemistry between these two actors, it's so genuinely authentic, and it's amazing watching this film because their conversations, the dialogue that's written by Andrew Haig, it doesn't even feel like it's scripted, it just feels like that casual morning after conversation you have with someone that you've hooked up with, and it just flows organically and it feels just so genuinely real. Haig really manages to find that sort of, he captures that feeling of what it's like to meet someone who comes into your life for a very brief moment of time and 
they make an impact. They leave, they leave you, they change you. And that's what this film is about, is that people just come, they float into our lives, they make the impact, and then they're gone. And we're better or changed because of it. And yeah, that's what's remarkable about this film, is that it's not particularly like remarkable, it's that it just manages to be remarkable for capturing that really special experience of meeting someone special and it not being able to last. And the acting in this is just incredible. Tom Cullen and Chris New give such incredibly powerful performances which don't even feel like they're showing off or anything. It's all just sort of nuanced into the way they talk and discuss and share ideas. And that's what's magnificent about it is that Neither one of them feels like they're showboating or showing off or whatnot. It just feels like they're being real people, like people that you know and go to work with or, you know, are friends with. This is one of the few romance films where the romance actually genuinely feels authentic. What I love about Andrew Haig as a writer and a director is that he never sort of stoops into any Hollywood cliche-isms when it comes to romance, okay? He just sort of lets things unfold naturally. What's also quite noticeable in this film is that there's a lack of music in this, okay? Andrew Haig doesn't use any music to sort of get the audience to emote for these characters. It's crafted through the interactions of the characters and the dialogue. It just feels like we're watching cinematic chemistry when you put these two wonderful characters together, just watch them interact and see how it sort of sparks and creates chemistry and it doesn't feel like it's pandering to the audience and it doesn't feel sappy it just feels romantic in a sense of things beginning for the first time for real people i keep saying the word real but it really does just feel that way it just feels authentic and real i'm sorry that's how i see it that's why this film moves me because it just it is something special. I just don't know how to put it into words coherently. I feel like such a spoon right now because I want to say things eloquently and I don't know how to say it. There's also a good deal of gay discourse woven into the storyline as well and at times it can feel a little bit like Haig is like pushing a bit of his agenda but it doesn't feel like he's putting too much emphasis on the eth on the gay ethos. You know there's topics of like gay shame and conformity as well as casual homophobia and just flat out homophobia. But, you know, people often have to face these prejudices in certain parts of this country. And that's nice that this film addresses those things without being too swept up in it. It just sort of highlights the things that we're struggling with. But at the same time, the meat and bones of this film is just a simple romantic love story about two people meandering into each other's lives and leaving an indelible mark. It's not just a gay film, it's about experiences of meeting people and that is why I love this film because it's happened to me before. I've met people who, have, who I've been in relationships with which had a ticking clock because I was traveling or you know I was moving away, I was graduating from university and yeah these romances are doomed to fail because circumstances aren't on your side but it makes it feel all the more special whilst you're in that little bubble of time when it's all sweet and romantic and you're discovering each other and falling in love with each other. And yeah, it just teaches you what heartbreak is about. And that's what's great about Weekend. Right, so let's ask those three questions. Would I watch this again? Well, this is my third time watching Weekend and I love that when I rewatched this the other night, it still had the same impact on me that it did when I watched back in 2011. Would I recommend that you guys watch this? Oh, absolutely guys, like this isn't just a film for gay people, it's a film for anybody out there who's had that feeling of meeting someone special but knowing in the back of your mind there's a ticking clock and it's not gonna be the relationship that you wish it's gonna be. And what score do I give it out of 10? This truly is such a captivating film, it's such a small film with a powerful voice even though it doesn't feel like it's boastful or yelling or trying to be heard it's just a beautifully intimate quiet film punctuated with a wonderful script which is delivered by superb actors it can be a little bit 
heavy on its political message in places, but it doesn't ever really feel like it's screaming its agenda at you. I'm gonna give Weekend a score of nine out of 10, guys. Be sure to watch this one, all right, guys? I can't recommend it enough. And if you guys have seen Weekend, be sure to let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. And if you like my content as well, please don't forget to click that subscribe button, okay? It really does help, all right? I just wanna say thanks very much for watching, guys, and I wanna wish everybody a very happy Pride Month. Hopefully you're out there waving your rainbow flags, throwing your glitter, getting your unicorn hats on, Go, love yourself, embrace yourself, have a great one, okay? Thanks so much for watching, guys, all right? For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Hiffield, and I'll see you next time.